Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. It will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Capricorn. I'm doing mainly tarot cards this week with an oracle card at the end. Starting with your overarching energy, I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux here. So let's pull an overarching energy for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. And it will be 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. What does Capricorn need to hear? Thank you. What does Capricorn need to hear? Thank you. What does Capricorn need to hear? Thank you. Thank you. The hanged man, or hanging man as it's written there. I'm going to pull one more for this Capricorn. Can we clarify the hanging man please, for Capricorn please? Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Let's, cl let's clarify this hanging man please. Chariot, card of cancer. Okay, Capricorn, so I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message you know by now. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, message for Capricorn, please. Message for Capricorn. 3rd to the 9th of May 2021, starting with the challenge position. Thank you. Three of Pentacles, mm -hmm. Capricorn energy. Ten of Cups is the advice from Spirit. And near future outcome, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Capricorn, let's clarify, go deeper into the message. It's interesting. I'm getting the Ten of Cups again with the Seven of Pentacles, which can be a card of time, patience, keep going. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn. Can we clarify the cards on the table? It will be from 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021, please. Angels, spirits, guides, thank you. Message for Capricorn. Starting with this three of pentacles, thank you. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Thank you. Okay, cards are on the table. There's three cards. The star. Four of wands. The fool. <laughs> it's coming out a lot this week this ace of pentacles but i like the ace of pentacles for earth signs because it's your energy um feels lovely very nice capricorn and the six of pentacles look the magician oh my goodness ten of pentacles wow I'm going to clarify the Six of Pentacles. Can we clarify the Six of Pentacles for Capricorn, please? Can we clarify the Six of Pentacles for Capricorn? You have the two good tens as well, I have to say. Uh, ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah, we have the, six, the Two of Cups. Okay, Capricorn. Yeah, you have been feeling in limbo and generally the hanging man is a period of time. It's not a few days. It's a significant period of time of feeling in limbo 
And sometimes the hanging man is just saying, well, to find the answer on how I move forward, I just have to surrender and go with it. Yeah. Because something needs to play out here, Capricorn, and that's what you're being told. Something needs to play out. We experience moments of the hanging man. It can be health that can affect, you know, other areas of our life. So our money, our career, our home, our property. And um, there could be changes in terms of money and career that can put us in periods of limbo. Job losses, changes in jobs. Um, can be to do with, you know, relationship changes as well, where we're, we're just trying to find the way forward, but things haven't quite lined up yet. We haven't got, quite got the ducks in a row. The message is whatever you have been in limbo on, you are, something needs to play out here, Capricorn, so there's still an ele element of patience, but the victory is within sight. The victory is within sight. The success is within sight. You, the path that has been challenging for you, there is victory at the end of this journey. This is winning victory over a difficult path. So I'm definitely getting in this energy. This is doing what the chariot does. Um, and taking the reins of your life, pulling your life into balance, eyes on the prize towards victory and success. It takes a lot of willpower with the chariot. It takes a lot of perseverance. It takes a lot of determination and a lot of trying to take control of a situation that may have controlled you because this situation, whatever it was, has put you in a period of limbo, but you have an opportunity to conquer it. And that's what you're being told here. There is a success ahead. Um, now, it might well be longer than a week, probably you know, more like a couple of weeks here, because, you know, the hangman is saying there's still things that need to be done, adjusted, played out here. Yeah. And I've been putting all my energy and time into trying to bring the beginnings of success into my life. Now, this could be about wanting to move into a new home. Maybe some delays happening with that. This can also be about trying to get a new job or the beginnings of a business partnership, you know, off the ground. Um, you know, it, it just feels in this energy, things haven't quite been going your way. You know, you've been working hard, prioritizing, doing the right things that you want to do, that you need to do to bring success, the beginnings of success your way. It can be financial, like I said, it can be to do with home or property. It can be essentially about rebuild or building something, the beginnings of something solid, manifesting something new. Um, business partnerships, new jobs, um, be, being part of a new team can be, like I said, in terms of home and property as well. And I just am beginning to lose faith that it's ever going to happen, that that new beginning is ever going to come my way because I'm still feeling stuck. Yeah. It, it feels like that, you know? But the star is you have every reason to be hopeful. You have to keep going because this is the right path for you. The path that you're on is blessed. And if you keep putting your energy and time into this, keep on going, you know, there is divine wish fulfillment and blessings at the end of that journey with, with, with this victory. The new beginning is coming. For some of you, it is just staying focused and putting your energy in the right direction despite being stuck or feeling stuck. Yeah. Because we have the Ten of Cups, which is a lovely energy. This is about the rainbow of blessings, the happy ever after, the blissful relationship, the abundant setting that shows material success, the happy family, which shows emotional joy and fulfillment. So this is everything. This is everything in one card, everything that we all strive for. Um, and the Ten is a happy completion, you know, um, goal, uh, getting to the level that we want to get to where we're completely satisfied and happy and uplifted. It's the rainbow of blessings energy. 
And something's coming your way that is bringing that in, which is to do with this Ace of Pentacles. And this is the advice from Spirit. The opportunity is coming. Now, for some of you, you might be you might be hoping for some kind of offer, financial offer, career offer, business offer, team offer, you know, manifesting a new business offer. Um, but you also might be waiting for an offer on your home or a green light to do with moving home, moving, relocating. It can be that kind of energy as well, Capricorn. And the message is, yep, yeah, the new beginning is here. The new beginning is coming. So lovely energy there. The magician appears just before you're ready to show the world what you're made of. You're, you have all the talent. The, the magician recognizes you have all the talent, resourcefulness, creativity, and practical ability, mental acuity to manifest your heart's desire. He is somebody who can change base metal into gold. So the sign that the magician is appearing means that you have to focus on that which you want to change from base metal to gold. And because now is the time to make it happen. It's hard work, manifestation. It's not easy. The magician is not an easy energy. It's not a click of the finger and it suddenly happens. It is 99% pers perspiration, 1% inspiration from the universe. So... This is an energy of keeping your power. There are things the magician knows he can't control, but that which is within his ability to control, he brings that resourcefulness together and harnesses it in terms of being the alchemist, making it happen. And we know that you have the opportunity to change something from base metal to gold. Yeah. Now, for some of you, In terms of love, romance, relationships, you know, this can be, it can be kindred spirit energy. So it can be that you might have been through a difficult time, the six of pentacles. This can be an energy of the universe saying it's your time to receive. So the universe wanting to bring a gift in, and it certainly does, this is a gift. Um, but it also feels in this energy, Capricorn, it's only one more than the five of pentacles or six of pentacles. So yes, this can be a card of, of we're getting by materially, financially. Um, but it can be a card of not feeling the abundance necessarily. You know, we're getting by is one better than the five of pentacles, which is about lack and sufficiency. But you don't certainly don't feel abundance. It can be about accepting charity, help from parents, siblings, call it what you will. So for some of you, it can be that energy. But this can also be somebody reaching out to you, offering you an invitation. Yeah, offering you some kind of invitation or offer. A powerful connection like-minded souls and it's to do with this I mean I'm definitely getting this energy of there is whatever this situation is Capricorn if you have experienced lack you have the opportunity now and this can also be to do with communication uh, to manifest the goal material success financial stability security getting financial stability and security back in your life um, this can also be to do with ha a home, family. So I'm definitely getting in this energy for some of you. Some of you might have had delays or challenges in selling a home and moving to a new one. It definitely feels for some of you that is going to change. There's a little more patience that's needed here, but you will conquer the challenges that you've experienced. In terms of money and career as well, there is a golden opportunity waiting for you. And again, this Ten of Pentacles can be a goal. It can be greater material wealth, security, long-term financial stability um, coming your way. And that's what you're manifesting for you, your home, your family. So it feels in this energy either to do with moving home or it can be to do with money career. It can be both. 
the rainbow of blessings is absolutely coming your way. You know, this is real, real happiness, not just for you, but it feels like a relief energy for you, your family, your relationship, your home. Um, there is a, a victory over a hard path coming your way, but it is coming nevertheless. So it feels very, very beautiful. There may well be just more patience that's needed. So what do we have as a final message for Capricorn, please? And in this situation, the message is just work your magic. Work your magic. You are the alchemist, so work your magic. You have the power to manifest this. We've got a fine balance. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you'll have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. <laughs> and it might well be for some of you. You just need to take some respite. You know? I'm going to pull one more Capricorn. Love this. Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon your spiritual work. Lovely energy. Because as this chariot moves forward, we see the canopy, the universal sky watching over them on this difficult journey, guiding them forward. So there is definitely an energy that you're being protected towards this new beginning. It's the helping hand energy, Capricorn, the Ace of Pentacles. It's a gift um, that's coming your way, but it's a gift that you're manifesting, that you're working hard and the message is stay focused. You know, don't let anything distract you because for some of you, it feels some offer, invitation. Having gone through some maybe challenge um, is coming your way. So it feels very beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. Um, I'll also say there could be some negotiation here. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just getting some extra information. There could be some back and forth negotiation here, whatever this is for you. It feels some kind of back and forth negotiation, but a new door is opening nevertheless. Okay, I've passed that on. I hope you enjoyed the reading Capricorn and I'll see you next time. Thank you.